For me, the RMS is a really special ship. It was my first introduction to St Helena and although I'm sad that it's coming to an end, I believe that this is all part of the progress that uh, St Helena has started a journey on. Um, when I arrived on the ship, um, someone asked me during that time, how did, what would be the one word that I would think about for the ship? And I said, home, that would be the word. And it's because uh, it does introduce you to the island. And of course, the island now for me is home. So the RMS is an extension of the island. And although people, when they fly in, won't have that experience, I believe the RMS will be the, the lasting uh, legacy for the, the island. So um, enjoy the RMS. Um, I certainly enjoyed my time on it, and I'm really looking forward to the RMS bringing her cargo back here on its last trip from the UK to, the, uh, to St Helena, because she will have some precious cargo on it, which is my dog, Dusty. The RMS leaves a long legacy. Uh, although this ship was um, built in 1989, her predecessor goes right back to 1977. And even in the Falklands War, her predecessor was used as a minesweeper support ship. So you can see the legacy that comes right the way up the, over the many years to today. And although we'll all be really, really sorry to say goodbye to the RMS, she is um, part of the past that will allow us to move to the future. And I'd like to recognise the huge support that has been provided to the people of St Helena from the crew of the RMS and, and also their two captains. Without them, we could not give access to St Helena.